Hey guys, welcome to Motorage. My name is Amit, and this, as you can see, is the S1000RR, the mother of all sports bikes. The best litter class motorcycle that you can buy right now, and uh, this has the 6.5 inch beautiful looking TFT screen here. And it allows you to have a lot of settings, and uh, it's really quite mind boggling. I've been trying to understand uh, what all I can do with it. And while the controls by themselves are very intuitive, but the settings are so many that it takes you uh, some time to absorb all of it. So let's start off with the basic modes that you have and you have four modes to choose from. As you can see, there's this mode button here. You just have to press this to cycle through rain, road mode, dynamic mode and race mode. They are quite self-explanatory uh, and they control various different parameters including traction control, wheelie control and uh, uh, ABS. So, this is essentially uh, pertaining to the different conditions that you're driving in. Uh, but typically you'll get such modes in other motorcycles. Also, what's really special here is uh, the special modes that you have. And uh, with this one, this is the M Sport, the top of the line motorcycle, the 22.9 5 lakh rupees X showroom uh, motorcycle, which gets an extra race pro setting. And uh, through race pro, you can actually control a lot of things manually, which you cannot in the standard setup. And that is a setup that I'm going to tell you about primarily in this video. So let's see uh, how to browse through the menu first. And uh, to browse through the menus, you have to use this button here. And when you press down, you'll get into that, into that menu. And uh, if you press up, you'll get out of it. So let's browse through various different uh, icons that we have here. So this is my vehicle and uh, this is right now telling you the range that you have the battery uh, voltage and uh, the temperature all of that but we'll quickly move on to the sport mode and here what you can do is you can change the way the instrument console looks to a more conventional kind of uh, a manner where you have the tachometer and you have uh, this very cool thing here which tells you the lean angle uh, that you have uh, leaned your motorcycle at, you have the DTC intervention and you have the, the brake power that you have. So you have a lot of information on the go as you're leaning the motorcycle. If you're on a racetrack, you'd be able to figure out as to what you're doing with your motorcycle. Now, navigation is obviously self-explanatory. Uh, Media, uh, right now we don't have any helmet or any phone connected. So it's essentially for your music or uh, for any such thing that you uh, would want to listen to. Now, this is the setting where you know you have the most functions and uh, to enter this, obviously, as I mentioned before, you have to press the menu button at the bottom and you'll enter this. Now, the racetrack, the, the racetrack thing here has to be turned on for entering the pro modes and you can do that by flipping this ring to the right. Then rotate it a little and flip it again and now the racetrack mode is on and then you can go into the configuration once you go into configuration you have individual control for everything including engine engine braking traction control wheelie abs and uh, this is essentially uh, ddc which is uh, dynamic damping control so this motorcycle comes with dynamic damping electronically you can uh, control the damping of the, the front forks as well as the rear suspension uh, for the front and the rear uh, you have different settings and for the rear you can control both compression and rebound damping while uh, up front uh, you have only rebound damping so this is the setting that is there and all these three modes can be individually configured so you can have uh, all these three modes set exactly to your taste, your liking for say various different weather conditions or for various different tracks if you go to many tracks. So you can save these settings and you can just like you know choose one of these three modes uh, and just get going with it. So right now let's get inside this and uh, as you can see the first option here is engine. So you can increase the throttle response from the engine or decrease it. Similarly, oh, I've come out, no problem. Similarly, you can uh, use engine braking, more or less as you want. Then the traction control can be 
uh, set to rain mode or road mode or dynamic mode or race mode or it can be completely turned off also once you uh, are on the track and for that you have to remove uh, the tail lights you have to be on the uh, track mode then you also have a separate section for wheelie so traction and wheelie are two separate functions here earlier uh, you could not have such a fine grain control over wheelie but now you can actually decide uh, whether you want any intervention from the system uh, for your wheelies or not and as you can look here you can, cut, can completely turn it off if you so wish so at zero your motorcycle is not going to have any intervention whatsoever uh, in level one you can actually pull a very high wheelie but if the motorcycle is going to be flipping over if there is any danger the system is going to intervene and so on and so forth so the intervention level is going to uh, get higher and higher and in the rain mode it's barely going to allow the the bike to have its uh, front wheel lifted up then similarly you have uh, controls for ABS also and again you can have different levels for it and then you have DDC which is the dynamic damping and you can uh, control the front damping increase or decrease it or Okay. Let's get there again. Yeah, you are in DDC, and you can uh, adjust rear compression, as I mentioned, for uh, rear uh, damping for compression as well as for rebound. So these are uh, the various different uh, settings you have. Apart from that, you have uh, this reset where you can, like, you know, put everything to zero if you so wish. Let's go back and see what other options do we have. You have light warnings. So light warnings is something that uh, most of the people will not be able to tell you what it is. So these lights, the tail lights that you see here can be completely removed, removed if you're taking it to the racetrack. And typically what happens is on a BMW, the previous generation, if you remove these lights, there would be a yellow light warning light that would have come here. But with this, if you uh, disable light warnings, that light is not going to come here. So the lights can just be removed and you can take the motorcycle to the racetrack without any warnings coming on uh, onto the instrument console. Then you have the pit lane limiter uh, which can be uh, configured to a certain RPM. So right now it's set at 3500 RPM and this RPM is essentially meant for the first gear only. So in the pit lane your speed is restricted if you're on the racetrack. So all of these options are here but there is one more thing right now since uh, the racetrack mode is on if I choose uh, any mode I won't be able to choose rain mode or dynamic mode because it's already in race pro mode. So if I toggle through here, it's going to show me race 1, race pro 1, race pro 2, race pro 3 and race mode only. If I have to use rain or any other such modes, I'll have to turn it off and then as you can see now, I'll be able to see rain, road, dynamic and race modes. So it may look a little bit intimidating uh, at the outset but this system is uh, quite intuitive. Your hand falls very easily to all these controls and it works very very well and uh, I think it's uh, fantastic the kind of fine grain control that you have over this motorcycle is absolutely phenomenal apart from that if you're not uh, satisfied with the, the kind of control that it gives you for rebound uh, and uh, compression damping you also have the option of uh, you know using a shim stack to further like you know control it and then you can further control it through the electronics so uh, in that sense this motorcycle in terms of uh, you know its adjustability to the rider in terms of engine in terms of you know the performance wheelie traction control modes is uh, quite the best that you have out there I really hope that this video was of some use to you uh, for you to understand uh, what all options you have here uh, especially on the performance front and if you like the video hit the like button Subscribe to Motoroids, uh, share, this friends with, uh, share this video with your friends uh, who may be interested in this and uh, until next time this is Amit Chakani signing off, we have hard referee and ride safe.